When a train enters a tunnel, you don't get scared and jump off. You embrace the darkness that is the void. You sit tight and hold on for the ride. The fuck are you talking about? I read that in a book a few weeks ago and I'm thinking about using it for the start of my new novel. What do you reckon? How do you find the time to come up with shit like that? Hmm. And why are you so calm about all this? Let me give you a bit of advice, Billy. Billy? Billy? Let me give you a piece of advice. The only way you get yourself out of a situation like this is when you convince yourself that you are absolutely fucked. There's nothing you can do about it. All you can do is embrace the consequences you're about to face. Shut the fuck up, Mike. We were never meant to go to that bar alone. You know that. Yeah, okay, but we did. Calm down. Look, the lads are going to be on their way and you know what they're going to do to that ginger slut when they find out what she's been doing to us? They're going to carve her fucking eyes out with a spoon. The fuck is that face for? Look, the whole carving her eyes out thing, you know, it's... it's sick. Are you shitting me? That makes you uncomfortable. After everything you've done, after everything I've seen you what do... What do you that... want me to say? Fuck's you know, it's just... Just the thought of someone being stabbed or shot, and it just freaks me out. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. The next hit we go on, we'll leave the guns at home, we'll take some knives, maybe a potato peeler, and when we square up to the fuck that owes us, you're going to push it straight into his eyeball and not fucking no. look away. No, oh, Mike, I can't do that. For fuck's sake. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasures that you seek. You know what that means? Stabbing someone in the eye is going to make me rich. No, there's no pot of gold behind someone's eye. You want to cut of that? What do you mean, do you want to cut? Don't cut, you stab no, no, the cut, eyeball. cut, cut, like percentage. Cut. Well, then say percentage, don't it's, say it's, cut. It's, it's percentage. What do you mean, who, banks say percentage, what, I what say percentage. Bankers, <sighs> Ready to talk? I'm going to ask you one more time and answer carefully. Where have they hidden the laptop bag? <sighs> All right. We had to hide it somewhere with a lot of space, so the first place I'd check would be your cunt. Michael! I overheard your conversation, Billy. Michael here hasn't shown his soft spot yet. But you... Look, you're never going to get that bag from us, so quit the fucking foreplay and just top us both now, eh? Gloves. What are you, what are you going to do? Fuck. I'm going to stuff his mouth... Get the fuck off! Get the... I'm going to stuff your mouth... So you don't scream yourself hoarse when I gouge your eyes out.
I'm going to give you one minute to collect your thoughts, catch your breath. All you need to do is tell me where the bag is, and this will all be over. I can't. I can't. I can't. They'll, they'll kill me. They'll, they'll kill everyone I love. They'll slaughter them. I can't. Billy. I can't. <laughs> Lucy, baby. Why aren't you in bed yet? It's way past your bedtime. Well, Daddy can tell you the story tonight. I'll be with you in the morning, all right? Love you too, baby. Good night. <laughs> Michael, you keep saying he's Salah. You fucking pig baggers. <laughs> he has the keys. Please just. <laughs> it's a red bag, and you did the right thing. Please just. Don't let them near me, please. Promise me. I won't. And now, I'm going to push your eyes in. What? But, but I, told, I told you where the bag is. So? So, so why are you coming for my eyes? <laughs> why? Please, wait. Wait, okay, okay, okay. You could cut off my arms, my legs, please. Just, just... I'm sorry, Billy. <laughs> okay, what about my fingers? What about them? You, you could... You could... Break them, tear them off, shoot them, you please. Do you really think you can bargain your way out of this? Okay, okay, my right eye, please, my right eye. You could j just keep just my right eye. Close your eyes and think happy thoughts. Please. No, please, help! Help! Help, please! Please help! Help me! Ah! William, can you open your eyes? His vision is still weak. It's over. Of course it is. This was quick recovery, William. But my eyes, they were... They're still healing. You're lucky the glass shards didn't enter the retina. It was a good thing you covered your eyes before the crash. Thank you. No more reckless driving, all right? Now, we've got a few more tests to run before we let you go, okay? Starting to see a bit more clearly. Are you ready, Billy? <laughs>